So, it is the season for all things pumpkin. So I thought I'd try out this rather nice sounding pumpkin chili from the infamous Swear-tastic Thug Kitchen. Go and be So you chop up one onion, one carrot, and one bell pepper into pieces no bigger than a bean, they say. So that's what I did. Then put one teaspoon of oil in a large soup pot and heat it over a medium heat. Chuck the onion, the carrot, and the bell pepper in the pot and saute them until they begin to brown about five minutes or so. Saute is a fancy word for fry them up good. Now you need to mince two to three garlic cloves. I am always of the belief that the more garlic, the better. The recipe also says that you need one jalapeno, but they did not have jalapenos in the supermarket on this day, so I used two red hot chili peppers that I found at the back of my fridge, which I decided to use instead. I recently learned that thinking of recipes more so as guidelines frees you up a bit to be a bit more creative and try new things, so never be afraid to try a close substitute. Throw those in the pot with two teaspoons of soy sauce and the spices. Now, the spices include two and a half teaspoons of chili powder. They say mild, but that's not how I roll. One teaspoon of dried oregano, not technically a spice, I know. And then uh, one teaspoon of ground cumin. And we blend all that stuff up nice for about 30 seconds. Then you chuck in a can of diced tomatoes and one and a half cups of pureed pumpkin. Now, I bought the canned stuff, but they specified not to buy the pie filling stuff, so I made sure to avoid that, but it was super easy to find in the baking area. Add two cups of vegetable broth or water, and then three cups of uh, different kinds of beans. So what I used was black beans, chickpeas, because a lot of life loves the chickpeas, and then a bean medley. And then mix it up all together until everything is thoroughly combined. Then let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes, stirring it every so often. Now is a good time to put the rice on. Uh, for my purposes, the wife really likes basmati, so that's what we're having today. In my rice cooker, it's really simple. Two cups of rice, then two cups of water, close, press the white rice button, boom! It's done in 20 minutes. So easy. After a while, I check on the consistency, and I could see it thickening up a bit, so I left it for a bit longer, and it was good to go. Rice ready, pumpkin chili ready, good to go. Let's see what the wife thinks. That's delicious. It tastes creamy and sweet. Kind of like butternut squash. Um, but a little bit more... Um, it's not as sweet as butternut squash, but it's delicious. All right, well, we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Thanks bye. for watching. Bye, 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 bye. Oh, I should mention that in the recipe it says uh, you're supposed to put a, a tablespoonful of lime juice in with the recipe, which I forgot in the first instance, but we had leftovers and I tried it the day after and it was delicious as well. So with or without, it's delicious and it's entirely up to you. Let us know if there's any recipes that you'd like to try out in any, any books or online and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.